and welcome to Benji Field and Baker. And today we've got ourselves a KXF 250. Now this is a 2016 model. Um, we've used this as a school bike, so this is why the plastics look a little bit shady at the moment. But um, essentially, we're not we're not looking at what the bike looks like today. We'll have the 2017s on test soon. But today we're just testing the effectiveness of the launch control. We're just going to see how that works and see if we can see any difference between using it and not using it. So basically what happens on the launch control system is when the bike's in first and second gear and you've got the launch control activated, what's happening is it retards the ignition just slightly so you don't get the full, full force of the engine. As soon as you shift it to third, it goes back onto the regular map and off you go into whatever race mode you're in. Okay, so we found ourselves a bit of a field out here where we can practice a straight line start. It's a little bit windy out here, so you're probably going to have to just make do with how windy it is. But we're going to go through the procedure of how to get the launch control activated and see how it actually works. So, first things first, we start the bike up, make sure it's all warmed up. You never want to be doing race starts without warming the bike up. I've already pre warmed this one up, I've done a couple of laps, so it should be okay. Right, we've got the bike ticking over, don't need any revs. Hold down the launch control button, start splashing revs. Once you've got it revs splashing, you're pretty much ready to go. So, I'm going to grab my helmet, we're going to try a couple of starts with the launch, and then we're going to try a couple of starts without the launch. Just see which way is better. Okay, let's give it a go. try now is a second gear launch with no no launch control I'm just gonna give it its full berries and see what happens Okay, so, now, I think after trying a couple of starts both ways, that um, what I can decipher is that this is not how we would normally do launch, launch races. If you were racing, you wouldn't want to be full throttle anyway, but to make it a fair test, I was just holding the throttle wide open and releasing the clutch out. So, I don't know, it's not, it's not really how we would be doing race starts, but what we can tell from this is that when we had the, um, the, the launch control on, I felt like I had a lot less slip. So I think as a beginner, if you were starting out racing, it's definitely a good aid. Because you can, you can really feel that it doesn't slide around so much with the traction control on, or it's not traction control, but launch control. It definitely doesn't slide around as much. But when you go without it, I feel that I can control it a little bit more and I can, I can have more modulation in it. So I think for the beginners, it's good, it's handy, but if you're a bit more of an expert rider or a pro rider, I think you'd probably prefer to run it without because you can really just modulate it and get the power in where you want it. But it's been an interesting test, it's been interesting to see what happened. So like, share, subscribe, do the things you've got to do, and um, hopefully we'll get some more moto review stuff on. We're going to have the 2017 250 coming in a couple of weeks, so um, we'll definitely do a review on that. Uh, we're going to have the 85s, we're going to try a review on one of them, um, maybe even a 65 if I'm feeling really brave. But uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe. This is Benji Field and Baker, we're out. <laughs>